So I just attended the fifth Korea Arctic Academy in South Korea. I applied through the UAF International Studies program, which was funded through the Korea Maritime Institute, which is where the conference was being held. So we went there and we talked a lot about Arctic policy, and it was actually people from all around the world. So there were two people from the US, people from Russia, Finland, Norway, Canada, and Iceland. We all had different presentations we had to do about the Arctic, and some were more scientific, like polar bear research and denning and permafrost thaw, and others were more personal, just things people had seen. Other than the Arctic experience, though, we also got to experience Korean culture and why the Arctic's important to them. So, as I said, we were at the Korea Maritime Institute and we got to visit different places like large shipyards and ports that contribute to shipping towards Alaska and all over the world. And with the melting ice in the Arctic, we talked a lot about the Arctic Passage opening and how that could be a potential shipping route in the future. For now, it's only open for a couple months out of the summer. So other than just going to the conference and having lectures from different people about Arctic policy, we also got to experience Korea and Korean culture. There were also participants in the conference who were from Korea, so they showed us around. We were first in Busan for a week, so we got to look around at the Nampo region, which is a big active region. There's a lot of stuff to do. We went on tours of the city, which included multiple different hikes. We went to the DMZ, the demilitarized zone, when we went to Seoul, and that was just an out of this world experience. On the last day, we actually got to go to this ginormous palace in Seoul. It's actually the biggest one. It was beautiful. We got to see throne rooms and art and learn about the history. Other than that, I got to meet a lot of cool people from different places and I connected my presenting skills, my communication skills during the conference back to my education here at the School of Management and UAF. And without programs at UAF or SOM, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things that I've gotten to do since I started school. I'd like to say thank you to UAF and the International Studies Program and the Korea Maritime Institute for hosting the 5th Korean Arctic Academy.